anybody who know us well, especially me, if they know me well, and they see the quality of life that I am living, they would know that I totally do not deserve it. 2019, um, it was a year of a expensive business failure. Um, that year, uh, together with a very good uh, brother in Christ, uh, we invested close to $1 million uh, in a tech startup. And uh, this particular year, uh, because of high overheads, uh, we had to stop the operation um, June 2019. We were at it for almost two years and every bit of it, we tried to put everything together. And at the very last part, it did not work out and we had to stop. It was very difficult seeing the staff that we have taken and that we have prepared and who was prepared that we, we are going to go forward and, and on. And suddenly everything had to stop. Uh, it was pretty painful. In two years, we lost a million dollars. Yeah, we lost a million dollars to see the staff leaving one after another and uh, where they were fully committed, you know, with us uh, moving this new journey. And you know, it was very tough, very, very tough. I felt I was very responsible for it and, you know, that hurt and, you know, that disappointment. I think till today, I still hold it, you know, to a certain extent. We closed the business June 2019, and the wait was pretty long. It was almost a two years wait, June 2019 to literally June 2021. Uh, that period was tough, it was very tough. Um, between me and Deborah, only Deborah is working, and uh, we went through lots of challenges. Um, from two pay, it became one pay that we had to sustain ourselves. And I remember after deducting all the bills that we had to pay, we had very little left uh, for the month. Um, I sort of remember the time where we had to sell things, the things that were dear to us. You know, I had to sell an unused camera. I had to sell my iWatch. I had to sell many things that were dear to sustain ourselves. One thing that was very good was uh, I spent quality time with God. And uh, where everything starts to stop, uh, I can focus upon Him. Uh, in particular, uh, I enjoyed absolutely the early morning walk that I was super carefree. I walk at the beach, you know, I could worship, I could sing, I could sit down and I could talk to God very much. And somehow it is these precious moments in God that encourage and motivate me and make me persevere and move on. There was a time where I took a nine month SGUS course, a digital marketing course. And during that time, uh, the later part of the course, uh, God spoke to me through a pastor and God revealed very clearly to me that He will create an opening for me, not one door, but two doors, that you'll be wide enough for me to know that it is His opening for me. Uh, and towards the last part of the course, you know, out of nowhere, I received this call from a brother in Christ, Brother Jimmy Fong. And uh, he's uh, a chaplain right now in St. Liu Elder Care. And he gave me a call and asked me if uh, I was interested, you know, to work in uh, San Liu Elder Care. So I told uh, Brother Jimmy, yes, uh, I would be keen. And uh, he sent me the uh, application letter. And I remember at that time, as I was looking through uh, the various roles that was that they had opening, I thought in all the roles I do not have that requirement. And I remember asking God, God, wh where, wh what am I supposed to apply? You know, everything. There was a certain requirement and I have some you know, qualifications that I do not fit. And I thought maybe the only role that I could really take uh, was the role of a driver. So I was going to apply for the role of a driver. Uh, but somehow out of faith, uh, I applied you know, the role uh, as a care staff in San Liu organization. So in the end, uh, San Liu called me and then uh, we went through a round of interview and the last interview was with uh, the CEO and the HR director. And then I realized that they were not looking at me for a care staff role and they were interviewing me for assistant center manager. And that I was really surprised because it was many levels above what I interviewed. But at the same time too, I know, wow, that is 
God's calling and that is God's leading because God always reserves the best for us. So now I'm um, the centre manager in San Liu organisation. I look after the welfare and the well-being of the elderly and I manage this team and lead this team uh, to serve the elderly. Three months that I was here, uh, I was confirmed. Uh, six months later, at end of the year appraisal, I was promoted from assistant centre manager to centre manager. And in March this year, um, the centre had its first major test. And every centre we go through every two years, an MOH audit. And this is a very lengthy audit. It's a very important audit, uh, you know, where everything will be scrutinised and to see if we are compliant with the authority, strict standard, uh, the way we serve the elderly. And you know what, you know, we came up with literally no correction in the daycare. You know, um, the auditors, literally the words was, everything was very good. And for an old centre like ours, you know, it was pretty amazing because uh, we had no uh, correction that the auditors tell us to correct, you know. And I know again, it is God, it is absolutely God, you know, uh, that enabled us. And it was also a big eye-opener for the team because um, every time when we go to audit, there will be corrections and all. This is probably one of the few years or the only year so far that we do not have a correction and the team is encouraged. You know, right now, even every morning we pray, uh, you know, before we start in our roll calls and everything. And God really is the centre, um, you know, in this place. I think one of the, uh, the biggest things for me, you know, to, you know, going through all this is uh, God's love. I think very often we, we know God loves us you know, and we hear that very often but until it comes into your life and you feel it and you know it through every moment of it and you know what is God's love and I've never encountered God's love like it is you know, through this you know, I have encountered you know, precious God's love. We have been after you know we gone through you know um, this one year, every year, every day when we pray to God, you know the first thing we do is to thank Him, and we don't just thank Him because we're saying a prayer, but deep in our heart we thank Him. And um, I guess sometimes it's not what words can say, but He knows, you know, uh, the love and from us, and you know, and we really thank Him. You know, I guess I, 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 I don't know if there's a word that you know I can use you know, to, to say to God or to thank Him, but He knows, He knows our heart and He knows my heart. <laughs> After having gone through all this, um, I thank God for His goodness, His faithfulness. You know, I may not know where I'm heading, but it doesn't matter because He knows where I'm heading. And in times where, you know, there are things that I do not understand, there are discomfort, there are challenges, good times, hard times, you know, I'm not, I'm not alone. And truly, no matter how much God bless me with right now, truly what I truly have is Him and that's all I need, you know, and I'm truly encouraged, you know, and I, I really pray that this testimony uh, will give strength and encourage uh, the many I know in a, in a season of waiting because God has got something better and God has got the best, not just better, God has got the best for every one of us.